Hey, Chris Matthew here from OctoBlue. Uh, we have a really cool experimental new feature that I think is uh, extremely powerful. In fact, it might even be a disruptor uh, in the API gateway space, you know, the apogees and masteries of the world. Um, what, we, what we've been able to do is take the existing uh, OctoBlue IoT automations and turn them into REST APIs uh, for the masses. Uh, so um, rem you guys are all familiar with the trigger by now. You know, you can add a trigger to a flow. You know, when you, when you press the uh, play button, it runs the automation. Or um, triggers also have, you know, the concept of webhooks. So you could post uh, to this URI and, and also kick off this automation. What's new is uh, this, this REST service that we're experimentally playing with uh, that basically keeps the HTTP requests uh, uh, open uh, until, until, like at the end of this flow, you tack on a, a, a post uh, node that basically becomes a response back to the HTTP request. Uh, so check this out. We're going to call um, uh, through the trigger. We're going to look up um, the weather in Tempe, uh, Arizona, um, and we're going to request that in uh, Fahrenheit. You see I filled in Tempe there. And then for the post, we're just going to match up um, uh, the callback URL uh, and give it a, a key value to respond in the body of, of the response you know, with temperature. And literally, that's it. So you deploy the flow like that. Um, you click on the trigger. And let's copy, let's copy this uh, webhook URI. And the only difference is instead of saying triggers.octoblue, we say rest.octoblue. That is it. So check this out. So if we do a uh, curl uh, and we're going to uh, do a, a X post, force it to be a post verb on, on the curl, paste in that, that trigger webhook call. And as I said a moment ago, we're going to replace triggers with rest. I love this. This is so cool. Rest. Now here, let me move this window down a little bit so we'll see we'll see this uh, all pulse as the uh, the the uh, rest call comes in. So that's it. So let me hit enter here, fire this curl off. There you go. You see it pulse. There it did the weather API. Now it did the response. So look at that. Temperature is 81 degrees in Tempe. Beautiful day, and we basically turned an IoT automation uh, into a a new API. Uh, that can do you know hundreds of different things before it returns a response uh, to a dynamic API request. Have fun.